Last week, we looked at building a regional invocation counter that would count every time a function gets executed in a certain region. And we were using Upstash Redis for this, a serverless um, offering of Redis, a key value store specifically designed for um, scenarios like this. Another great example of um, things that we can do with Redis is race limiting. Um, and Upstash has built a really handy library here that is Upstash rate limit that allows us to easily add um, rate limiting to our functions. Um, and so let's let's have a look at that. So Upstash has made this uh, rate limit library available for Dino as well. So let's actually go ahead and import this into our um, import map. Uh, otherwise, we already do have um, Redis here. Let's actually go ahead and rename this upstash slash Redis. Uh, and then we will need to update that in our uh, function here. So um, this is now called uh, upstash Redis. Uh, and then let's add upstash slash rate limit. And then we can use that um, in our project. Okay, great. So we have our import map. Um, let's go ahead and create a new function superbase functions new. Uh, and we'll just call it upstash redis um, rate limit. Let's do that. And then what we can do is actually, let's just copy our um, upstash Redis counter where we have kind of everything set up um, with upstash and then um, paste that in to our new um, upstash Redis rate limit. And um, what we can do, so we'll want to keep the Redis configuration, but pretty much everything else uh, from our counter, we won't need. We'll keep the response stuff for now. Um, and then we can modify that later. Um, and so now let's actually go ahead and just um, copy our rate limit example in here. Um, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, let's just copy this and modify it afterwards. So we'll um, need to import the rate limit from our um, import rate limit from uh, at upstash, uh, but upstash rate limit, this one, that's it. Um, we will need to do what do we have here? Yeah, we'll need to uh, return the request uh, later to make the function correct. And then here, this is, um, this is kind of in a node environment. So in um, Dino, we just do it like this. We um, do have our Redis. Uh, if you want to know how to set up your Redis database, uh, you can watch last week's episode where we go through setting up the database um, and the environment variables and we'll just reuse that um, configuration here. Um, for now, we'll just use an identifier and then we can just say rate limit uh, limit the sliding window. Let's set this for uh, two requests within a 10 second period. Um, and so we can say if not success, we'll just uh, throw um, an, a new error and we'll call it um, limit exceeded. And so here in our case, then we'll go into the catch class here and go this. And then otherwise we'll do our expensive calculation. Uh, and in this case, we'll just return the success for now. There we go. Um, okay, so now we should have a basic uh, rate limiting example set up here. So let's go ahead and start up our local Superbase server. And then we can say Superbase functions serve we want to uh, say no verify 
uh, JWT, at least for now. And we, um, yeah, want our .env file. And that is coming in from superbase slash uh, .env. There we are. And now we're serving superbase. Uh, we call this upstash hyphen redis hyphen rate limit. So we can go localhost. We can um, go maybe to our tickets here and say upstash redis rate limit. Success is true. Now, if I go and refresh this, uh, I get my limit exceeded. Now, if I wait a couple seconds, so we're uh, we have our two um, requests within a 10 second window. And so if we now refresh that we have one success two success three error limit exceeded. Okay, great. So this is working as expected. Now, um, you know, this is not necessarily that useful. Um, because we're just kind of limited uh, rate limiting on this API identifier. Uh, I think one scenario, one scenario that might be a little bit more interesting is to combine this with um, Superbase off. And so we actually have an example, Superbase, um, Superbase, uh, in our examples, uh, in the edge functions, we have uh, Superbase functions, uh, select from table with auth RLS. Okay, that's a very complicated name. Um, but so basically, what we're doing is, um, we can do this create client here, and we can get our request headers and can get the authorization header. And then we can get out our user. So let's do exactly that. So first of all, we'll need our create client from Superbase. Superbase, uh, so we already have that in our import map. We have here uh, Superbase, Superbase. We have Superbase JS in there. So let's go ahead and import our create client. Uh, and then what we can do is we can do this to get our um, user object. And so let's do um, that in here. Okay. So we want our um, request. So now we're using the request object. So we'll remove the underscore request headers, we get the authorization header. Um, let's do a quick console dot lock of um, well, first of all, we'll have we need to check if we actually have um, a user. So we say if no user because the user could be um, null, then we say throw new error. Uh, no user. And otherwise, we can say uh, console log user dot ID. Uh, and then here, what we can do is our identifier um, will now just do the identifier as the user dot ID um, and use that. And so basically, now we have our rate limiting um, done by uh, the user ID. So you know, you could do that as well with um, API keys, if you issued those, um, you could, you know, rate limit on the API keys or something like that. But for example, here, we can just do it based on um, the user ID and combine this with Superbase auth. So now if we go back, we should be getting our error, no user, yes, because we're not actually sending um, any uh, user ID. So uh, I think even if we're uh, maybe just looking at the hello example here, we have um, a curl with a bearer, but this bearer is actually um, just to do let's see if we uh, open a new terminal window here. Let's just do this. Uh, and so I think, yeah, we're still getting the error here, no user. So we actually need to um, have a user 
uh, running locally on our local Superbase instance. Um, and so what we can do is actually there is um, in our Superbase examples here uh, in the uh, edge functions examples, we actually have a local app. So let's just um, maybe open that. So we'll go into examples. Yeah, we should probably make this a bit bigger. So I'm just in my um, Superbase main repository here and we'll go examples, edge functions. Uh, yeah, that's actually it. And then we can go into the app directory, open that in VS code. Uh, NPM run start. And now we should be uh, running. So now we can uh, actually just log in. Uh, actually, we'll need to sign up a new just say tester and test.sg. And I will sign up. And so now we're signed in. Uh, we can say invoke function. Uh, we don't have the function um, running here. Uh, but what we can do is we can uh, copy out the JWT. So here the authorization header has the user's JWT. Uh, we can actually look at that quickly if we want to. Um, we'll call, we can say, okay. And so we can see here, this is our tester. Um, and this is the, the user ID of the tester. And so what we can now do here is we can replace this here. I'll just need to make sure that, um, yeah, we're still running. And so now what we can do is we can copy the scroll command will execute it. And so now we should see, okay, success true. Uh, and here we should actually get our user ID. And so now if we um, run this again, uh, success true, error, we now have limit exceeded. But um, okay, the 10 seconds have limit exceeded, limit exceeded. So we can now see that we have this up and running and scoped to our authenticated user. So that's pretty neat. Um, you can see here, we have our rate limiting set up with um, Threaders, pretty easy configuration here. Um, and we're using the user ID of the uh, authenticated user that we're getting from the authorization header um, and just getting that from Superbase auth and then just using that as the identifier for our rate limiting. Uh, and that's it. So this is how you can implement rate limiting using the serverless upstash Redis. Thanks so much for tuning in and see you next time.